Hey, what's going on ladies and gents? Let me talk to you about the new Spiral Abyss. A lot of you guys have been saying that you've been struggling with the new Spiral Abyss. And let me tell you, I'm struggling with floor 12. Floor 11, I found a little bit easy. Let me tell you guys why. The Spiral Abyss has a new feature on floor 11 or a new ley line rather. And the ley line disorder is the corrosion status. If you guys see over here, when opponents are defeated, all party members will be affected by the corrosion status so as long as you kill or eliminate an opponent the corrosion status will be applied to every single member of your party what this means is characters you know being corroded will lose a little bit of their hp or a fraction of their hp every second active characters can be brought down by corrosion when a non-active character's hp is less than 15 percent any character that you have on the field will get eliminated but other than that they won't die if they're just in your party corrosion lasts for 10 seconds and and here can stack the duration of each stack is counted independently that's how that works and to be fair, it wasn't that easy to get 30, you know, the whole nine stars on this floor. Um, my teams were a little bit scuffed, but I did manage to beat it. I beat it on stream, actually. If you guys want to follow my stream, it's in the description down below. Twitch.tv forward slash Mars26. I did not use Barbara here. I did not use Diona here. I used two characters that I thought are really, really good. Obviously, I used Bennett. Bennett is going to help carry you through this entire thing if you have enough damage. Instead of just using Bennett for healing, the attack buff he gives, that's incredibly important. And that's what I used to eliminate opponents really quickly from the floor all at the same time with Eula. And so what I did is on, that, on this floor, I just had these individuals on the same team. The third or rather fourth character isn't that important but i would have an anima character on the team such as venti or something like that to just sort of group them up together kaza will be an incredible support here so you can might as well use kaza for the second team i used gene gene is an amazing amazing uh character for this floor for the sole reason her burst healing heals everyone on the team at the same time and the burst healing is really 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 powerful and that really helped you know just controlling the whole corrosion status and not being affected buy it that much i ran a favonius sword on her and let me just show you guys some of the stats that i had so my gene is currently 80 out of 80 not even 80 out of 90 she has the healing bonus bonus effect on her tension stat so she will always have a healing bonus with her Mine is 31.6% already from her ascension, which is really, really good. And that really drives the healing upward. Not to mention, I also run a Favoni sword on her, making her an excellent choice for the energy recharge and just continuing the all uh, over and over again or the elemental burst just over and over again keep healing so if i show you guys here the dandelion breeze which is the elemental burst you can see that the elemental burst has a as soon as you do you know your burst you're going to deal a lot of damage not only that but you're going to get continuous regeneration if you stay on the elemental burst aoe field obviously this is the most important part which is as soon as you activate your healing or the, you activate the elemental burst you're going to get 402 percent of attack plus 2888 on top of that so you're pretty much gonna full heal if you have a good amount of attack and which my gene does i have 1720 attack and i pretty much full heal as soon as i click on q and it's really really good and i don't even have gene like fully invested in it is pretty good which is all you need but if i just you know turn her attribute to 80 out of 90 i get that extra healing bonus and i can get her talent up to nine which is going to be pretty beneficial as well not only that but if you have gene you can also have this when you normal attack with gene you have a 50 percent chance to regenerate hp equal to 15 percent of gene's attack this is for all party members so everyone's going to be affected really really good so all in all i did not need kokumi for this I did not need Kokomi at all, and Kokomi, she's going to help you incredibly on this floor, but I do not feel like it's necessary for you guys to get Kokomi just for you guys to clear the Spiral Abyss. And that's my warning, that's pretty much it. But if you want Kokomi, you can get Kokomi. If you want, if you feel like Kokomi is going to make your life easier, you're going to have more fun with her, that's fine. But I'm saying there are a lot of options, and an option that I think you guys are not thinking about, which you probably have, 
Chi-Chi. I didn't use Chi-Chi myself. Chi-Chi is a really, really good healer. I didn't level her up yet. I do plan on doing that. I do want to use Chi-Chi. But if you guys can see here, using Chi-Chi is going to help your healing by a lot. And I mean, that's pretty much it. You guys can see she has the same same stat as Jean, where you heal based on off on your attack feel like that's really good she also has this right here it's called the life prolonging methods which helps you increase your healing bonus by 20 percent for eight seconds if you trigger an elemental reaction really strong she's a really good healer and you probably do have her on your squad or on your roster rather you could just use chi chi right there and you'll be just Mine. that's gonna be pretty much it from me guys i just wanted to warn you guys about the spiral abyss and you guys wanting kokomi just for the spiral abyss i feel like there's so many options not to mention barbara being an incredible option too i didn't use her i didn't need to use her because i had gene and yeah i mean that's pretty much it hope you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel as well see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye